Welcome to Jennifer Parsley Wellness. Today is day 64 of my journey to release 30 pounds and be at the weight and the BMI that I wanna be at in my 50s. Today is my week nine weigh-in results. Good news, woohoo, I am losing weight again. I had a little loss, a little gain, and that wasn't doing so great. I am back on track. I lost 1.2 pounds, I'm down to 144 a BMI of 24.0, so I am on my way to 23 BMIs, and I believe 19 to, I don't have my numbers in front of me, y'all, I'm sorry, a BMI of 18 and a half, or 19 to 24.9 is normal BMI range, so I'm going to bust out of that highest end of the BMI soon. And I'm super happy to be in the lower end of the 140s now. I can actually see the 130s coming. I can see my Levi's jeans coming. And I feel like I'm back on track. Having a wonderful chat with my awesome friend and mentor, Julie Christensen from Protective Diet. And also uh, got some great advice from her husband, Jerry, as well about goal setting, about sticking with what we know instead of, they have a term called in love with the search. And that's kind of what you've seen me doing. Like, oh, I wanna try this and I wanna try high protein and I wanna try the bodybuilder plan and I try, and I do this. I've done this all my life. I'm probably the world's worst yo-yo dieter. Um, and you know, it's I've come to grips with it. <laughs> it's just who I am. Even though I probably had the solution in the palm of my hand for the longest time, whole foods, plant-based, no oil, Staying off the alcohol is good for my body. Staying off the sugar is good for my body. Julie gave me great advice to pay attention to how each of these things make me feel. Pay attention to how it impacts my sleep, how it impacts my weight loss. And getting in another little like plateau, up a little, down a little, wasn't really losing. So I got back to the basics this week. Lots of fasting. Almost all of my eating has been in like a one to six hour window, one hour window on multiple days this past week and weight loss is kicked back in. So yes, I can see the 130s coming and I can also see possibly a lower ultimate goal for myself. I've been aiming for 125. Maybe I'll keep sharing these videos. Obviously going to keep going past the 90 days or the first three months of 2023 so that I can share with y'all and you can celebrate with me when I get to where I truly want to be at. Uh, the alcohol topic, I we went out last night for dinner and we went to this beautiful place in Charlotte called Luna's Living Kitchen, which is all vegan and mostly all raw vegan. And I'm having this lovely sunset lights coming through. <laughs> I could go close the blinds, but that's okay. We're going to get a bit of sunshine while I'm talking today. Uh, we went to Luna's Living Kitchen, mostly raw vegan food there, um, but all plant-based food. And just, I was saying to Simon, orga and organic, and they have kombuchas on tap, and they have a whole cooler full of these beautiful teas and kombuchas, and they make smoothies and all these beautiful things and I had a glass of wine and Simon had a beer. They do serve beer and wine there. Almost all of their foods are organic. And I was saying to Simon as we were eating, I was like, I can just feel the quality of the food. It's like I can feel the energy of their food and that what they put into it, the thought they put into it and the beautiful presentation. I'm like, oh, we need to eat here more often. So we're definitely not, and I don't mean go out to eat more often. And we only go out to eat like once a week or less. We've actually been going out to eat more like a couple times a month, which is good because it's not great for weight loss to go to restaurants. They're always cramming oil and sugars and things. Even when we eat or dairy, we try to eat mostly vegan. Um, but when I go out to a meal, if there's a little bit of cheese on something, I don't stress about it. But I'm seeing now that going out to eat because there are all those little extras in there, um, that it's not gonna be good for me when I'm trying to get to my lowest weight. But 
I'm not going to never go out to eat again in my life. But choosing places like that, having that available to us in Charlotte is awesome. We also have a place called Flower Child. There's a lot of those across the United States, which have a ton of beautiful vegan whole food options. We drove by that last night. We're like, oh, we need to go to Flower Child again. And uh, so just even within the restaurants, we have so many restaurant options available to us in Charlotte, but choosing the healthiest of the restaurant options. And then Simon wanted to go check out another brew pub. I did too. I mean, it's part of Simon and I uh, like good craft beers and my family heritage is all German both sides. I was practically raised on beer. One of those where my grandpa would have a beer and he'd give me a little shot glass <laughs> sip of beer when I was like two years old. I think my mom hated the fact that he did that. Um, so it sort of runs in my blood, <laughs> the enjoyment of good beer. And so we went out uh, and had a couple beers and then I had a tiny bit of wine. It was mostly ice cubes, like watered down wine when I got home. So I had like three to four drinks and it was like, and I actually slept pretty good. I think my body is detoxing faster because I've only had since New Year's Eve. So since the beginning of 2023, I had drinks last weekend and this past weekend. Uh, so when we went out for our anniversary and then we went out this past weekend and haven't really been having anything at home or anything during the week and this weekend, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I might have to say goodbye to alcohol for good or just one drink, even one drink when that night that I went out to the Celtic, um, uh, pub to meet a new friend and I had one glass of Chardonnay. I could feel it the next day and it was like, oh, my body just doesn't feel as good. And so I'm make, starting to make some decisions, starting to see the light. Look at this. Ah, I'm starting to see the light about alcohol and sugar in my life. <laughs> Being a goofball today. So I did, we did have a dessert at the Living Kitchen because they don't sweeten anything with sugar there. They don't, wouldn't use sugar. They use like date fruit sweetened desserts. And we had this beautiful layered, it was called Dulce Amor. And it had a vanilla, a fudge, and it had fruit, fresh fruit on it. And it was just all naturally sweetened. And I had half, we shared one dessert. That meal left me feeling great. Had I had that meal and one of their beautiful non-alcoholic drinks of which they had an entire menu of teas also, coffees. The next time I go, I'm totally going non-alcoholic there. And the next time we go out to eat, I'll probably go non-alcoholic. So just wanted to share that. I know I shared in one of these other update videos how dry January was going and I totally did dry January and almost all of February as well. And interestingly enough, I don't know. It may be. I only had two weekends of some alcohol because I'm going to meet my goals and not adding empty calories from beer or wine will help me get there. But we shall see and I'll keep giving updates because I know some people are interested on alcohol and how that impacts my weight loss and could potentially impact your weight loss or people who are in their 50s, women in menopause. It seems to definitely be having an impact on my journey. Um, what else? Uh, alcohol talks about going, oh, yesterday I fasted all day. So I was, uh, having green tea. I like having green tea in the morning. I have one mug this size that has some caffeine in it. Just the amount that comes in green tea, which is less than coffee or black tea. And then herbal teas, chicory. I think I had yesterday water. Fasted all day, had my living kitchen, beautiful high vibration meal, but then I did have a few drinks and we enjoyed uh, watching some of our favorite shows uh, when we got back home. We're watching this series called Welcome to Wrexham, which is about, made, uh, no, not, made, not pre major league or premiership. It's about uh, British soccer being bought by these California dudes and it's a true life thing. It's really cool. Welcome to Wrexham. It's fun. If you like soccer, football, as the Brits say at all, it's a cool series. And we started watching this one on Amazon called Catastrophe that one of my clients told me about, which is about an Irish 
woman and an American guy and it takes place in London. And so since I'm American, my husband's British, it's very much resonating We're and it's uh, comedians that do this. And so some of it's pretty funny. We're enjoying that one as well. And today I've been fasting all day. I'm drinking nettle tea. I had green tea, nettle tea, water, sort of detoxing a bit after having a few drinks last night. And uh, I'm gonna fast all day and we're making a tofu, orange, broccoli, stir fry. Uh, oh, I meant to bring that cookbook up here and show you what I'm cooking from. I bought this for uh, Simon for a Christmas gift. I think it's called Vegan Tray Bakes or something like that. Uh, it's a British, Simon's mom cooked from that cookbook for us when we were in Scotland. And the recipes were so good and you just throw everything on a tray and you make all these things in the oven. And so we're gonna give that a try tonight. You'll see a picture of what I had for my one meal today on Instagram and Facebook, Jennifer Parsley Wellness. You'll see the pictures and descriptions of everything I eat in a day. Today will be a clean fasting day, eating within a one hour eating window, no alcohol, no sugar for desserts. I'm either going to make a um, banana, frozen banana, nice cream, uh, chocolate nice cream, but not, I either will add a couple drops of stevia or I may just not have any sweetener at all because can't have the erythritol right now. I'm trying to heal my gut. I don't know if I'll ever be able to have it. I don't, I'm having a reaction to it. The That would be the no calorie sweetener that I would choose or have had in the past. Stevia, I think I'm okay with a little bit of stevia. We'll see. And sugar, man, that just impacts my sleep. And I can't, I'm done. Julie's, Julie's in my brain now. Think about how that makes you feel. Stop being in love with the search. You have the answers. You're just trying to still get away with, as Dr. McDougall says, people love to hear good news about their bad habits. <laughs> And uh, Lindsay Nixon from Happy Herbivore, like, stop trying to game the system, she says about herself. Like, I can't have more food. Or with me, stop trying to game the system. I can't have coffee, alcohol, sugar, all the things I used to love so much. My 50-year-old body, almost 51, is like, uh-uh, girl, and you don't need to eat five times a day. So yeah, you'll see my one clean meal for dinner tonight. It's gonna have noodles, uh, ramen noodles, tons of veggies, tofu, uh, big kind of stir fry like noodle bowl, but it's made from this tray bake cookbook. And I will either have the banana nice cream or uh, one of these apple pie yogi bowls, Julie calls them, which is applesauce, homemade soy yogurt, cinnamon, and some toasty oats. I had that for dessert the other night. It was really quite good. So I'm trying to stick to fruit, whole fruit, and just get creative with desserts that don't call for any sort of sweetener right now. I think that's about it. Exercise. I may go for a dog walk. It's a beautiful day in Charlotte here today. It's like sunny and 68, 69 degrees. And it's just beautiful. I may just get outside and take Riley for a walk. Simon went for a long 32 mile bike ride today. Might give him a break and take Mr. Riley for a walk. So that's my food, my exercise. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I'm, see, I'm toying with this idea of doing the gym two times a week and yoga once, getting more yoga in. I think I've talked about this before. Um, We'll see. I don't know. I love going to the gym, but it, and it takes quite a bit of time to go to a one hour yoga class. Although my workouts are taking that long. <laughs> you guys get to listen to me figure this out in my head during the video. I don't know. We'll see what I'm uh, doing for workouts. I'll give an update on that next week in one of the videos this coming week. And I think that's about it, y'all. That's the advice I'm working on, trying to let go of being in love with the search and just follow a plan that I know is healthy, works for my body. Day fasting, protective diet style eating, which is whole foods, plant-based, no oil, laying off the sugar and the things that I know aren't good for me, laying off the alcohol, 
Um, I'm also, oh, this is an exciting thing. So Jennifer Parsley Wellness is now part of the Charlotte Wellness Collective. My two Psych K facilitator friends in Charlotte that we've done a workshop together. We meet together. We're trying to grow our businesses together. And we are all Psych K facilitators. So we're trained in helping people shift the beliefs at the subconscious level. And we all have clients and other modalities and things we do. We work with people not necessarily here in Charlotte, but we've come together. We formed the Charlotte Wellness Collective. And I created a quick and easy little website for us, charlottewellnesscollective.com. And we are starting to sign up for like spiritual or wellness or yoga type um, festivals here in Charlotte or in the region. One of them is in Concord, which is a little northwest of Charlotte. And we're gonna put together booths and brochures and we're gonna do demonstrations of the type of health and healing work that we do for people. And we're gonna get out there and meet the Charlotte health and wellness community. And so we've got some fun things planned. We've got another workshop planned. So if any of y'all are in the Charlotte area, check out charlottewellnesscollective.com and I'll start to add events and other things on that site. And so I'm doing some work on that over the weekend and kind of getting ready. Our first event will be April 1st. So lots of fun, exciting things happening with Jennifer Parsley Wellness and the work that I do here. So I'm going to be doing a bit more on that. And I think that's it. I'll talk to you soon, friends. Bye. Oh, ah, almost forgot. Feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. I love comments, questions. Happy to interact with y'all. Give a thumbs up if you like these videos. Subscribe if you want to continue to get updates on the journey to reach the weight that I want to be at in my 50s. Feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.